Hey guys, James here and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're sitting in a 2021 Ford Bronco Black Diamond trim level. This video is part two of a pair of videos where I'm comparing the Black Diamond trim level of the Bronco to certain other trim levels in the lineup. In the first video, which is linked down below in the description, I compared the Black Diamond to the Big Bend trim level, which is one step down in price. And in this video, I'm gonna compare the Black Diamond to the Badlands trim level, which is actually two steps up in price. Even though Outer Banks is next to Black Diamond in terms of price, I would actually argue that Badlands is a better comparison with Black Diamond because both of those trim levels prioritize off-road capability over creature comforts. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what you get when you go from Black Diamond to Badlands. And then at the end, I'll talk about whether I would actually spend that extra cash to go from Black Diamond to Badlands and make that jump. In marketing speak, Ford calls the Black Diamond trim level adventure off-roading, and the Badlands trim level is extreme off-roading. What does that actually mean in real terms? The Badlands trim level basically expands out the capabilities of the Bronco, both on the low-speed rock-crawling end of the spectrum and the high-speed off-roading end of the spectrum as well. And because the price point of the Badlands trim level is starting to get a little close to Land Rover Defender territory, the Badlands trim level allows you to add on some creature comforts that are just not available in the Black Diamond level. Let's go into those specific differences, starting with features that relate to the capabilities of the Bronco. The first difference is that Badlands comes with an upgraded suspension that has Bilstein position-sensitive dampers. The Bilstein have three zones of damping where the middle zone where the Bronco spends most of its time is the softest and then when you get to the two extremes whether the wheel is going up or coming down then that's where the damping rates go way up three to five X what they were in the middle what that translates to is a better ride on the road as well as over terrain that's you know, not too bumpy uh, combined with that ability to avoid like bottoming out and whatnot because of that firmer damping at the extremes the second difference is that the Badlands can actually disconnect the front stabilizer bar standard whereas the black diamond doesn't even have that as an option for those of you who are unfamiliar with what that means basically it boils down to this cars of all kinds have a front stabilizer bar and a rear stabilizer bar and basically what they do is they limit the amount of body roll that your vehicle experiences in a curve the downside to that is that when you're going off-road or when you need the two front wheels or the two rear wheels to be able to really move independently of each other, the stabilizer bars will actually limit that. The Bronco Badlands Edition um, can actually decouple the two halves of the bar in order for the front wheels to be able to move very independently. And that is a huge advantage if you're going rock crawling and you need that maximum wheel articulation of each wheel in the front. The third advantage of the Badlands is that it can automatically engage four-wheel drive. The Black Diamond has this kind of mode selector here where you can toggle into four-wheel drive when you need it. The Badlands will just do that for you when it thinks that you need it. So that's just one fewer thing that you have to worry about as you're driving the Badlands off-road. Next, electronically locking front and rear diffs are standard on the Badlands, but only optional on the Black Diamond. That's another piece of equipment that's gonna be really critical if you do a lot of rock crawling or kind of lo those low speed, extreme off-roading maneuvers. Badlands also allows you to option a 360 degree camera system. Now, normally I would classify that as an interior kind of infotainment type of feature, but in this case, that could actually come in handy as you're off-roading, right? If you're rock crawling or trying to get through some kind of little narrow path, the 360 camera could actually be really handy. What about wheels and tires? Well, Black Diamond comes with 17 inch steelies, whereas Badlands comes with 17 inch aluminum wheels. The Badlands tires are one inch bigger in diameter and almost an inch bigger in width. In both cases, the standard tire is all terrain, but with Badlands, you can also option mud terrain. Basically, the wheels and tires are just a little bit higher performance in the Badlands. These differences between Black Diamond and Badlands that I just described are all kind of related to the capabilities of the vehicle. And that's really the main point of upgrading from Black Diamond to Badlands. However, as I said earlier in this video, because the price point of Badlands is starting to get close to some nice, you know, Land Rovers and such, then the Badlands also enables you to option in some creature comforts. And so let's go through those. First off, you can upgrade from the standard marine grade vinyl seats to actual leather with power adjustments. And although you would lose your ability to rinse out your interior after a particularly muddy day on the trails, 
I mean, leather could make a lot of sense for somebody who's spending upwards of $50,000 on their Bronco. Badlands also allows you to option up to the Bang & Olufsen sound system, as well as a 12-inch infotainment screen, up from 8-inch, uh, with nav. And the final interior difference that I want to mention between the two trim levels is the fact that Badlands allows you to option a wireless charging pad and additional USB ports. So far we've talked about the capability related differences, the interior differences, and so let's go back outside of the Bronco and talk about just two more differences between the two trim levels. The Badlands comes with the Bronco Signature exterior lights, which frankly I think look super cool, and the Badlands also comes with two rear tow hooks versus one on the Black Diamond. Now this is just actually a partial list of the differences between Black Diamond and Badlands. There are actually a few more differences that I didn't mention. I just wanted to focus on the ones that I thought were most interesting or most important. If it were my money, would I upgrade from Black Diamond to Badlands? Well, let's talk pricing. So Black Diamond starts at right around 38,000, whereas Badlands starts at 44,500. So it's about a $6,500 difference. And keep in mind that this price difference does not include all of those interior differences. When I was talking about the interior differences, I was talking about the fact that Badlands allows you to option these things in the interior. So really the main differences have to do with the off-road capability of the two trim levels. I think for me, the decision would really come down to whether I was going to use the Bronco for rock crawling because honestly, in that situation, I think the locking diffs, the disconnecting front sway bar, those kinds of things are actually really useful in those low speed off-roading situations. And and don't forget the Bilstein position sensitive dampers, right? That actually improves the livability of the Bronco on a daily basis and it improves the ride quality and performance of the Bronco at high speeds when you're going off road. Six and a half thousand is no small chunk of change, but you do get some real hardware for that money. All in all, I think Badlands makes sense as a trim level and um, yeah, could absolutely be worth it. With that said, let's wrap up this video. So if you haven't yet watched part one where I'm comparing the Black Diamond trim level to Big Bend, which is one step below in price, go ahead and click that link in the description below to check out that one. If you found this video interesting or helpful, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button down below, that really helps out my little channel and it helps other Bronco enthusiasts and shoppers uh, find this video so that they can also benefit from the information. Also, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming out on this channel. I do car reviews, I talk about car news, whatever's interesting in the world of cars. Again, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I will see you in the next video.